Hi there, flat towers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Blue Ox's Car Guard Towed Vehicle Protector. The safest place for your car is at home and in the garage. But when you're flat towing, you're going to be bringing your car with you, and it's going to be exposed to all the dirt, debris, and elements out there in the wilds as you're going out the road. And your tires on your motorhome here are pretty rough and aggressive, and they can pick up some pretty big pieces of debris. Mud flaps on your motorhome can help minimize that, which we've got here at eTrailer.com. But the car guard here is going to deflect it all the way across the front. From the position that I'm at here, I almost can't even see the vehicle behind the car guard because it's going to essentially cover the entire back of your motorhome here, all along the bottom, keeping any of that debris away from it. The shield's constructed of a polyethylene composite. So you can see here it does have some flexibility to it, but it's very taut. It springs right back, and this helps keep the weight down because when you're ready to use your vehicle again, you're gonna to wanna to take this off to drive it around. And you don't want a big heavy metal shield up here that's cumbersome to move. And the flexibility of it will also let it take some larger objects, hit it, deflect off without damaging or breaking it. The car guard comes with a universal bracket design that has a couple of different ends to help match the tow bar that you have. It is designed to work with all of Blue Ox's tow bars with an exception for the Acclaim and any of Blue Ox's competitors, such as Roadmaster and those, it will work with some of those right out of the box. And the ones that it doesn't, you can find adapters for here at eTrailer.com. The various brackets that it comes with are all adjustable, so you can ensure that it'll work with your vehicle, because a lot of it's going to depend on your vehicle's base plate. The base plate determines the distance that the connection points are apart, and you'll need to make sure you have it set up to be able to attach with that particular distance. If we look at our bottom arm down here, where it attaches to our tow bar, you can see there's multiple holes in the bracket here so we can help adjust that gap to make it fit appropriately. There's also various holes located on the car guard shielding portion to give you further adjustability. With all these different mounting options, there is usually more than one way you can get this set up on your particular vehicle, so you can set it up in the best way that's easiest for you to get it on and off. And speaking of getting it off, we'll show you just how quick and easy it is. Now you do got a couple of different ways you could do it. You could pull the pins out of the top here, which would allow just the shield portion to come off, or you could pull the pins here at the bottom, which will take the entire bar with it. Me personally, I find these are a lot easier as you just pull these, because the pin unhooks much easier, and then it just slides out. We'll do the other side as well, and then we can lift the whole thing off. What's nice about this is that our bars are still attached to our car guard here, so we can take our Blue Ox tow bar there. If we were all done flat towing, we're removing this. So we're at our campsite now. We can fold our tow bar up because these bars aren't going to be attached to it, preventing that storage position. And the entire assembly can fold up. There's a pin here at the bottom. If we remove this pin, then we can slide the rod out here in the center. And then we can fold the two pieces together. Now you will notice when you go to fold them up, it is going to be pretty tight with the two arms where they come together. So you do have the option to pull the pins here as well. You'll see they fit in these little grooves here to get it to fold up all the way flush. But in a lot of cases, you can just take the two arms and position them side by side. And the pin will be close enough to where you can just insert it then. It's a little bit tight without moving the arms in the appropriate spot, but if you're just looking to store it real quick and get it out of the way when you're at your campsite, this is an easy way to do it. So you can see that we can fold it up with the arms in place, although it is kind of tight. To make it fold up more flush and be a nice cleaner package to store in your garage, we can pull these pins out. Now our arms will not likely be in the same position as yours as the base plate is really the big determining factor on the width of your arms. But you can see now it will fold all the way shut and we can store our arms inside of it. And with it all folded up, you can see how small it is. You can easily fit it into one of your storage compartments or in your garage, and it's not gonna take up very much space. And it's also extremely lightweight due to that polyethylene shield, and also because we have all aluminum, all aluminum bracketry located behind it. It's gonna come with all the hardware you need to get it set up, as well as some various adapters for other manufacturers' tow bars. In most cases though, if you're using this with a Blue Ox tow bar, you'll be using the bolt located right here. You'll just remove it and then you can pick one of the most appropriate holes and the positioning because this does pivot around that bolt 
to where it lines up best for your car guard. And again, that's going to be mostly dependent upon the distance between your two connection points on your base plate. For the other manufacturers, we, there are other brackets that come included with it. If you have a round style bar, then there are U-bolts with clamps that can clamp right onto your arms. And there are some L-brackets and other ones for different manufacturers. When putting it back on, however, I do find it easier if you put your arms in first going back on because it can be a little bit more difficult to line these up. And then we're just gonna line up the most appropriate holes with these posts on both the top and bottom. They're gonna slide from top down for both of them. And then we can reinsert the pins on top. Compared to other towed vehicle protectors we have here at eTrailer.com, this one is going to be a vertical hard design versus Roadmaster has their tow defender available, which is a horizontal design that goes from the front of your towed vehicle to the back of the motorhome and stretches across with a fabric to catch any debris. Both of these are great options. Both of them are going to take what's being thrown from your motorhome and deflect it. But what this will do versus the Roadmaster, the Roadmaster is really only protecting your vehicle from stuff being deflected from your motorhome because it's just stopping the stuff coming up from underneath there. This one here could potentially stop things coming in from the side as it does cover the entire front. And I've also found that this one's a little bit easier to take on and off. I like the couple pins that it's got on it. It just slides up, it folds up nice and neat. The tow defender is nice because you can store it at the back of your motorhome. But with it being fabric, trying to fold those arms out and get everything set up, it's just a little bit more cumbersome. All in all, this is going to be a relatively inexpensive solution to protect your vehicle from expensive repairs and paint damage in the future. And that completes our look at Blue Ox's Car Guard Towed Vehicle Protector.